Hi, I'm Dave. This is the Cider Baby Pod, and today I'm speaking to Stratton Bev from Firestorm. Hello. Hi, Hi mate. You all right? You're all right. Uh, you're looking well. You're looking relaxed, stress-free. Nobody think you're uh, creating yet another festival for this year. Can you can you see our legs? Because obviously we're <laughs> we're on the swan movement at the minute. <laughs> More like a duck than a swan. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it must have been twelve months ago since you actually started Firestorm initially, wasn't it? Almost, yeah, yeah, officially, yeah. almost. Yeah, we lo- we we launched the actual ticketing platform and announced it on the eighteenth of March last year. Yeah, yeah. So I yeah, mean, but... it absolutely cracking festival, probably the best festival I went to last year. I've got to say. Thank you, brother. <laughs> mind, mind you, the comments on my videos about me getting redder and redder, Bev. <laughs> <laughs> we, were, we were using you as an emergency exit at one point. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's a good thing for you this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In case of fire, head towards cider, baby. <laughs> Thanks. Um, <laughs> right, that's the end of the interview. Um, no, uh, it it was absolutely fantastic. I mean, the weather was glorious. It, it's got to be got to be said. It was the best probably weekend in the whole yeah the whole summer. I think yeah. it just goes to show God's a rocker. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean. The venue as well. I mean, it was set on a farm. Um, I, I assume we're going back again next this year. Same place, yeah. same venue. Um, yeah. A cracking venue. Uh, everything. I mean, there was a couple of little niggles at the time, but nothing, nothing, nothing serious. And I thought, for a first time, that was pretty good going. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So this year, what's in store? Yeah, well, obviously we're we're well on the way and we're a year in advance. Uh, I suppose the first thing to do is is thank all the pre-sales. So what we try to do is, or what we did do is, we were so made up with uh, the people who did turn up because we all know by now it's well documented about the uh, people thinking it was a fake festival. So for about a thousand people uh, per day to turn up and mm-hmm. and have faith it wasn't fake and bought a ticket and turned up was amazing for us. So we actually gave all those guys uh, a 10% off this year. And at the time when we did that, that, that pre-sale about 70% took us up on that. So right. that is, that's the first thank you really to, you know, um, our community, if you like, because they, they bought a ticket without us even hinting or booking a band. We hadn't, you know, it was two weeks after the festival, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, You've got a stellar lineup at the moment. I mean, there's a couple of spaces left to fill, but I mean, Royal Republic and Massive Wagons on the Friday night. That's going to be party, yeah, isn't it? Party. It's going to be a mad party. Uh, you've got my granddaughter's two favourite bands there, apart from Kira Matt, I've got to say, but those two headliners are actually bringing my daughter, her family, and my grandchildren along uh, with us next time as well. As well. So Fantastic. Fantastic. Um, just on Friday alone. So tell me, tell me who's who is coming to the festival, band wise. Band wise, yeah. Oh God, right. I have to remember all the bands now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is awkward because if there's one band I don't forget, it's going to be awkward. But uh, yeah, obviously we've got Massive Wagons and Royal Republic. Uh, we've got When Rivers Meet. Um, we've got uh, the Ampers, uh, Mason Hill back again. Valhalla yeah. away. Chris Barris. Yeah. Uh, uh, Ash and Reed, uh, White, White Raven down. down. This is yeah. working well. This is, this is what good. about what about the one to watch slot? We've got the yeah. one to watch slot this year with um, hot one two. The hot one two we've been discovered, and we went down to see, and we 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 created a slot just for those guys to get them on. Yeah. Um, very conscious, we must have forgot somebody. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> we must have forgot. <laughs> oh, well, I'm sure. <laughs> do you know? Do you know what? Actually, what I'm going to do? I'm going to I'm going to put the old readers on and. Uh, <laughs> I know that slide, but you know, I'm just very conscious. If I do, if I forget one of these bands, they'll be, they'll be on the phone saying, "Oh, what's going on, mate?" and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> That's bad, isn't it? You've yeah. got Scruffy Bear back as well, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Sons of Liberty, Hell's Addiction. Yeah. Now, Hell's Addiction were the band that unfortunately had to pull out last year. Yeah. Um, you know, for whatever reason. So I'm delighted we managed to get Hell's Addiction on this year, even mm. though they ended up 
post to last year and didn't play. Um, as you say, Scruffy Bear are back, so great voice. Gin Annie, I'm either for Gin Annie. Gin Annie, Bev, Bev really what, got hold of the talent management team and said, come on, guys, I want I want Gin Annie, I want Gin Annie. We've got, yeah, we're feeling Gin Annie too. We're feeling Gin Annie, you know, it's just, it all has to work and you've got so many slots. So you've got to weigh in. Our boys at a Priory as well. Shout out to them yeah. last year. Yes. They, yes. They, it's one of the Battle of the Bands winners. And they came onto the stage and they literally did bring the face melting rocket exploded so bad that I was so excited. Um, as they come up, oh my God, you went off like an atomic bomb. And now it's our little <laughs> in joke. Now we're always bantering and laughing about that. And they're like, I can't believe you said that. But it just, they just grabbed my attention and it was just so cool. We've got uh, we got Virgin Marys as well, which is a local band to us, only yeah. from Macclesfield. So they're mm-hmm. coming and bringing their madness. We've got a few mad bands this year, yeah, haven't we? Yeah. And, yeah, um, yeah. and I can't I can't believe I forgot this band actually. I knew I'd forget them because it's actually the band that I wanted last year and we couldn't make happen. And I, I've been listening to them a lot and I've actually can't wait to see them at Firestorm. And that's uh, Black Spiders. Can't wait to see them boys. Really yeah. Like them. Uh, Vega. Vega. Yeah. Um, Lateral. Yeah. Uh, Jack J. Hutchinson. Uh, Attack. Um, which is a bit of a super group that's come together. So um, I think we've mentioned everybody except the two to announce, which yeah. we're embargoed on at the minute. So hopefully get them announced in March, I think it is, middle middle towards the end of March. Um, and then we're about to launch the Battle of the Bands soon as well, which we're doing in uh, collaboration with Leaf Leaf Promotions. So Leaf like off a tree. Um, so we're about to announce that date. Um, I think it's... 25th or 26th of June, that should be a Sunday in yeah. Manchester Rebellion. And uh, yeah, we'll get that on the old uh, gob drums, get it out there and um, yeah, apply to play for the Battle of the Bands to open up at Firestorm. Excellent. I'm, I'm sure you'll be bombarded with a load of bands because yeah. I'll be, everybody I've spoken to, they've asked me, what's this Firestorm Festival like? And I said, oh, it's you know, really good. He said, can we get on? I said, well, I'll, I'll give you the email, but I think they're pretty much sorted. He said, doesn't matter, we'll try anyway. Right, but yeah. I... It, it, it is amazingly difficult with the bands because, you know, let's be honest, without bands, what are we? With, you know, but then without customers, what are we? You know, it's all these things. But we do get a lot of bands. And I would say to the bands, if you go to the website, there is a little guide on there, how to get on Firestorm, what, what we're looking for. Mm-hmm. We're not really looking for a band that aren't presently ripping up the scene, that have got, you know, 50 to 100 listeners on Spotify and they're playing in a local pub. Our starting lineup, you know, even the guys, I mean, you know, right down at, for, well, probably not the Battle of the Bands, but the one up, they're all doing something. They're all on supports or they're doing headline shows themselves, you know, and that's the level. We yeah. have to deliver bands to our community and sell tickets. That's what yeah. we have to do. Now, don't get me wrong, there are plans in place that as we grow, we'll bring on a third stage and we will be able to open it up to more grassroots and give grassroots a chance because that's we'd love to do that. But at the moment, certainly this year, um, we, you know, we've got uh, about 29 slots. We had 32 last year. Yeah. The only reason we reduced is when people completed the survey, they wanted a little bit longer between the sets because yeah. it was getting a bit... Like, as Bev yeah, calls it. We're calling it the Firestorm workout because it was slightly <laughs> down a grade and then back up. I'm like, yeah. on, let's go, let's There's go. a great so timeline of people just going left and right and left <laughs> and right. So it's we wanted to give them a little bit longer just to get a beer and look, you know, go and get, you know, a spike to eat. So before it was literally five minutes, now there's 15 minutes. So that reduces the bands because it reduces the amount of time, the, the times we can play because we've got a really hard stop at five to midnight is the curfew. And then there was a few people who said, you know, could we finish a little bit earlier so they could try and get a a train or a bus, you know, so we brought that back to about half 11 as well. Um, One of the nights we're we're thinking about putting a party band on for the last half hour uh, after the headliner. Well, that's why it's really gone from 32 to 29, really, because of those reasons. Okay. Um, What other little tweaks have you uh, done to the festival for this year after working last year's festival yeah i, I mean we we've extended our um, our workforce if you like and then that's the point really we are looking for volunteers right the way through from uh, parking marshals to looking after the back of stage gate um so if you want to volunteer it's basically we, we ask you to give us eight hours work 
and we give you a free weekend ticket. Uh, you can have that with or without camping and we schedule around the bands. So we've got a lot more people helping us this year actually at the festival on site. We're still looking for people, like I said. Um, there's a few exciting props coming in uh, that we want to do. Um, we do want to create just for you guys a press village so we can try and give you a little bit of place you can maybe, um, you know, fire up your laptops, you know, get yeah. get get uh, something written down and that kind of thing. Um, so we want to improve on that. Um, basically, the stage is are same, except the big top has gone bigger because okay. we're already, we've already sold more tickets than we did last year. Mm -hmm. So, um, I mean, you know, we don't know what's going to happen from here, here in, but it looks like we're going to sell yeah, more than we did last year because we're already at that point now. So we mm -hmm. took the decision to extend the big top. Um, and I am hoping, fingers crossed, to put a viewing platform in there as well uh, at the back of the big top. But it's one of them, you know, I need to get on site. I'll have the, I'll have the deck to do it. But if it all comes true on the CAD, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so talking of tickets, you said you're pretty much where you were last year at the moment. I mean, that's, yeah. that's good going for a second year festival. Um, so you've got glamping available. You've got camping available. You've got day tickets available. So run through the other ticket options you have got. Yeah, I, sp I suppose the first thing, to, shall I take that one, yeah, Andrew? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I suppose the first thing to, to say on that is uh, the response to the camper van motorhomes was amazing and it, and that is now sold out. If you do want to come in a camper van motorhome, maybe DM us or get in touch, email us, because there might be another option, but it will be off-site. We won't be able to fit any more camper van. We actually extended the camper vans by about 20, I think, and they, they sold out. So... We can't fit any more camper van or motorhomes on site. So mm -hmm. maybe drop us a, an email or something and we we might be able to talk that through with you of that option. Um, but yeah, there's, there's, there's day tickets available for each day. Um, there's the weekend tickets with and without camping. There's also our Thursday night party, which that's been amazing. I mean, last year, the Thursday night party, we sold about 70 tickets. Was it? Maybe about 90. About 90. Yeah. So we sold about 90 tickets last year for the Thursday night party, which is basically an opportunity for me and Bev to get around casually and say hello to a few people and just have a, have a quieter night rather than running the festival. And we, we have a, a covers band on and we have a bite to eat um, and we have a bit of a, a quiz as well, don't we? Um, and this year we've already sold 300 tickets already for that. So... That's, yeah. that's definitely going to be a bit of a party now on Thursday. And that's great because you can get on site earlier so you can get your camping spot or your camper van spot. You can go and pick it and, and, and you're on site earlier. So, you know. Yeah, and I think that's that was what a lot of people said because the site is so stunningly beautiful. They felt mm. like they were on holiday. And we, of course, we were so lucky with the weather. Well, it's yeah. probably tiny bit too hot but yeah. that that was yeah. nice because people almost felt relaxed and like they were on holiday and then the music was like just an extra bonus yeah yeah, yeah. um like you said about uh glamping glamping's available um to get the glamping you need to book through our website so you go direct to the website uh firestorm manchester rock festival and i have to say on the glamping dave you know for the for Lots of people want to look after themselves whilst they're there. You know, we have hot showers and proper yeah. toilets on site. And yeah. then he has a separate little pamper tent. So he's got hair dryers, straighteners, products and things. You know me there. and you need that, <laughs> don't you, Sido? We need that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so so all, all the tickets that are available, if it be uh, the long weekend ticket, which is the Thursday party night, or the weekend tickets, or the day tickets, or uh, children under 15 tickets, which we did this year for the first time. Um, I have to just say on the children's tickets, there's not a massive discount on it. When There's nothing on site really for the children. We're not really supplying any, you know, bouncy castles or anything like that. We just felt a bit, last year there were some single parents who yeah. would have liked to have come to the festival and couldn't because it was an 18 plus um, mm. So we've done that this year. I have to say we've sold five tickets, five children's tickets so far. So it's not a big thing if anybody's panicking about lots of children as well. <laughs> but yeah, all, all, those, all those tickets are on um, Gigantic or Gigantic as I think it is supposed to be pronounced. Uh, they're all on there except glamping. You need to book that through our website. Okay, brilliant. I think, I think we've covered all bases here now. I mean, it, 
I assume we're still in the cow shed as well. I mean, what a great little venue that is. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm an ex farmer. I mean, I, can uh -huh. I, I know what, oh, yeah, what a great use of these barns. I mean, it's fantastic, yeah. though, isn't it? Yeah. No, it is, and the acoustics are really good in there, and you can get a good party. That, I mean, that's the thing, really, now with uh, the festival is the barn can fit about about 1,500 in. Mm. Likewise, there's about um, with the big top. I think once we, hopefully, fingers crossed, because we do need to grow it, you know, we do need, you know, it, it, it didn't wipe its face last year, so it's, uh, you know, we do need to grow it. Um, we'll probably have to start looking at, you know, having two different type bands on at the same time so you, yeah. you'd make a choice that you know i'm into this and i'm into that and split the audience that way because if we do get to 2000 plus which you know there's every chance we will in 2024 um we can't fit 2000 in the big top we can't fit 2000 in the main barn and i know maybe for the for the lineup from um lower down the list you probably won't get everyone in but everybody wants to see the main supports and headliners yeah. so i think we've got to you know look at that for 2024 so having a little think about that now which is difficult because you're thinking about bands now for 2024 and not even knowing if you're going to hit those numbers so it is it's difficult okay um i'm gonna i'm gonna wrap it up there because i think we've covered all bases and um is there anything else you want to say to the potential customers before we yeah. wrap it up uh, yeah, there, there is actually. Um, we're, we're about to announce a major sponsor, um, for a household name, um, hopefully doing that deal next week. So yeah, uh, sponsorship, if there's anyone out there who wants to get involved, uh, we have two stages which can have naming rights on. The sponsor we're about to announce is, is going to name one of the stages for two years. So we're looking for another brand who might want to get involved with us and uh, name the stage. And then there's also uh, a naming rights of the festival, but it will always be Firestorm in association with. And, yeah. and, that, and those brands will have to fit with us and our community. You know, it's got to fit, you know, like something that works, if you like. We're not going to go with a conservatory manufacturer, if you like, or anything. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's probably the only thing on our radar that we'd love to start looking at now. Um, yeah. Yeah. That yeah. sounds about right. Yeah. And just yeah. like... You know, prepare yourself for the face melting rocks. I think it's going to be insane. <laughs> Trust me, it was definitely face melting last year. But uh... <laughs> it was too hot. Oh. I think it. Uh, I think it was thirty seven degrees on the barn stage, which yeah. is we it was getting a bit worried about the kit. The fans were in overdrive. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much for your time. I look forward to seeing you in August and yeah. uh, have a great time. Thank you. Yeah. Cheers, Thank you. Guys. See, See you later. Bye, mate. Bye. Bye.